Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. And I would like to bring some messages to you over the coming days with uh, this handy whiteboard that I'm going to be using behind me. And uh, what I want to do is I want to break down some things uh, in, uh, in short messages, like by parts, and I'll do part one up to whatever. And then um, what I want to do is... Um, Keep the videos real short. Basically, what I what I can explain in one in one uh, in one take. What I want to explain, whether it's a timeline, I want to talk about the seventy weeks of Daniel first, and uh, sh I want to share with you guys my understanding of the seventy weeks for, to the first coming, the seventy weeks to the second coming. And then in the coming days, what I want to do is I want to break down how we can understand 1947 to 2017 as the final 70 years, break down all the timelines of the abomination of desolation, the covenant with many, bringing us to what, we, what seems to be right now Pentecost, the final Shabuot, the final Shabuah in the 70 weeks is Pentecost 2017, June 4th and June 5th. And that to me seems like the marker that will start the Great Tribulation. But that I will leave for the uh, messages at the end of this series. So what I want to talk about right now here, if we can look at uh, what I have written down here on the board here. Okay, it says uh, 70 weeks are determined. Okay, what we have here is we have a prophecy that was written by Daniel, and it was, it applies double, double, it's a double prophecy that applies to the first coming of Jesus Christ and it equally and fully, completely applies to the second coming of Jesus Christ. And so what we have here is we have it, this word that is, that is carefully chosen by the prophet Daniel as the Holy Spirit is, is giving him this prophecy. He is writing down what the Holy Spirit is giving him. And he was given this word that has this double meaning to it. This word weeks, as we know it in English, is the same word Shavuot in, uh, in Hebrew. Okay, So what we have here is we have 70 weeks are determined or 70 Shavuot are determined. So what we end up having then is, is we have this word that means weeks, Shavuot, to the first coming, this word applies to seven years. Seventy weeks of years are determined, which ended up being 490 years to the first coming. Seventy times seven years to the first coming. Okay, This is indisputable. I mean, we really, uh, this is well documented, many, many years. Okay, I'll be quite honest with you. I do not have this first coming, all the understanding of those numbers. I, I just know that over the years, right, this is documented and known to be the way this prophecy unfolded, right? It was seven Seven years is, is a week. It's 70 times seven, 490 years to the first coming. But what we have then is we have the same word that can also mean one year, Shavuot, because this is the same word, okay, if we look at the two passages here that we are looking at, it's Daniel 9, 24 and 27, where it says 70 weeks are determined. Then we have in Exodus 34, 22, it is the Feast of Weeks. Feast of Weeks, 
70 weeks are determined. Both passages use the same word, Shavuot. This is Strong's word in the Hebrew, number 7620, Shabua, Feast of Weeks. Okay, so if we have 70 weeks, which is weeks of years, 70 times 7 is 490 years to the first coming. But the second coming, we have Shavuot. And if we apply that to the Feast of Weeks, okay, it's 70 Feasts of Weeks are determined... This applies to one year. There's one year, one feast of weeks per year, one Pentecost per year. This is it one year, and it means 70 years are determined. 70 times 1 is 70 years to the second coming. Where did this clock begin? This clock began with the order to restore Jerusalem in 1947. And that brings us to 2017 as the end of the 70 years, the 70 weeks from the order to restore Jerusalem. And this is confirmed in Matthew chapter 24 by the parable of the fig tree. When you see the fig tree revive, right? When you see the fig tree reborn, that generation will not pass away until all these things have been accomplished. So we have this one passage of scripture that is a prophecy that will lead us to the understanding of the coming, of the first coming of the Messiah. It will also lead us to the second coming of the Messiah. And what we have here is this word that is a perfect word that God chose that would give us a double meaning. In one, in one passage it means, or in one explanation it means seven years, and in the other explanation it means one year. It's a week. Feast of weeks is the Feast of Pentecost. So, this is the first edition. The next edition I'm going to talk about the timeline from 1947 to 2017. God bless.